The Volvo B21 was a slant straight-four engine first used in the Volvo 200 series, meant to replace the B20. The B21 and all derived engines are often referred to as red block engines for the red paint applied to the block. The primary differences when compared to the B20 was the switch to a SOHC in place of the older pushrod configuration, and an aluminum cross-flow cylinder head versus the iron head of the B20. History Initially the overhead camshaft versions were offered as optional equipment on the 240, becoming standard in all markets by the 1976 model year. The overhead camshaft motors were available in displacements of 2.0, 2.1, and eventually 2.3 litres. The B21 featured an 80 mm stroke, and 92 mm bore. In the US, the B21's power output ranged anywhere between 98 horsepower and 107 horsepower, based on variations in the compression ratio and was typically supplied with a B or M camshaft. The engines are tilted approximately 15 degrees to left to make room for the more complicated injection systems. B19 and B21 blocks can be identified by water plugs on one side of the block. The B23 blocks have them on both sides. The camshaft is driven by a tooth belt that is driven off the front of the crankshaft. The belt turns the intermediate shaft as well, which in turn drives the oil pump, distributor and the fuel pump of carburetor models. In 1981 the B21FT, a B21F with a turbo, was introduced with a compression ratio of 7.5 to 1 mated with a Garrett T3 turbocharger and a T camshaft. Additional turbo variants, not offered in the US market, were the B19ET and the B21ET, based on the B19E and B21E respectively. The turbocharger increased power output to 127 horsepower for the B21 FT, and 157 horsepower for the B21 ET. Also new for the 1981 model year was the B23, with a displacement of 2.3 liters bore. Aside from the increased bore size, the engine is identical to the B21. Volvo used a slightly different mold for the turbo engines to cast a boss for the turbo oil return line. Because a turbocharged engine has a higher operating temperature they used sodium-filled exhaust valves and a thermostat-controlled oil cooler. In 1983 the B23 was introduced to the American market. Also introduced in 1983, the intercooler boost system was introduced for the B21 FT motors. The IBS kit consisted of an intercooler, appropriate ducting, a new fan shroud, new oil cooler lines and mounting brackets, and optionally an automatic transmission kit. IBS raised the output of the B21 FT to 162 horsepower, slightly more than the non-intercooled European market B21 ET's 157 horsepower. Midway through the 1984 model year, the intercooler boost system became standard on American 240 turbos. Additionally a bigger clutch and a stepped flywheel were included. In 1985 a revised, low-friction design was introduced, dubbed the B200 and B230. Several components had design changes, longer rods longer, pistons with a lower compression height, lower friction bearings, a crankshaft with eight counterweights and a heavy harmonic balancer in the crank pulley. 1989 saw an upgrade to the crankshaft, with a relocated axial thrust bearing back to the number 5 journal, bigger main bearings, Rods were enlarged to 13 mm from 9 mm in 1990. Also introduced in 1989 were 16 valve, twin cam variants of the B200 and B230, dubbed the B204 and B234 respectively. The B204 was also available in turbo form in some markets where large displacement motors were taxed heavily. It came in two versions. The B204 GT turbo motor operates with a lead-resistant lambda probe and generates approximately 200 horsepower. The B204 FT is a catalytic converter and generates 185 horsepower. Both were the first red blocks standard equipped with oil squirters for piston cooling. Crankshaft, cone rods and pistons all forged. Exhaust valves were sodium-filled for cooler operation. 
it has smaller valves and stiffer valve springs than NA16V crank torque is 290 Nm at 2950 RPMs for the GT, and 280 Nm for the FT. Other differences from the normal 16V red block engine are that it uses a remote mounted oil filter and a windage tray. For the B230 engines 1993, piston cooling, oil squirting jets were added to help alleviate piston slap problems on the turbo motors. Another modification was to go from a square tooth timing belt setup to a round tooth timing belt setup which made for quieter belt running. The last red blocks were made in 1998, when the 940 model was discontinued in Europe, although the 940 was discontinued in 1995 in North America. Special versions. Equals B17 equals. Special version for certain European export markets with shorter stroke than the B19, 88.9 mm a, 71.85 mm bore and stroke for 1784 cc displacement. Equals B19 turbo equals, the 1986 cc's 136 picoseconds B19 ET was sold in certain markets where engines of over 2 litre displacement were heavily taxed, such as Italy. The engine has the same stroke as all other red blocks, the smaller displacement is the result of a smaller bore. It is a very robust engine with forged pistons. The B19 later turned into the B200 low friction engine. Equals B23 turbo equals, the B23 ET and B23 FT motors were offered for two years only in the 1983 and 1984 Volvo 700 series. Both the B23 ET and B23 FT are somewhat unique in the 700 series, as they were the only turbo motors offered in the 700 series with a block mounted distributor, forged pistons, and a forged crankshaft. The B23 ET was the only red block known to be equipped with a small coolant passage version of the higher flowing 405 cylinder head, the FT had to make do with normal 398 head. As these motors predate the low friction B200 and B230 turbos and are equipped with forged pistons and crank, they are often considered one of the most robust Volvo turbo motors. Equals 16 valve variants equals. Introduced in 1989 for the 740 GLE, the 16 valve red block motors were offered in both a 2.0 litre turbo and a 2.3 litre 154 horsepower naturally aspirated version. The head was designed for Volvo by Porsche. In addition to the 16-valve head, these motors were equipped with twin counter-rotating external balance shafts and the engine block itself differs from the 8V red block. The block differed from the standard B230 in that the auxiliary shaft was replaced with an external oil pump. The 16-valve head was itself a completely new design for Volvo. The head was of a multi-piece design featuring a separate cam carrier and lower section. The later white block motors can trace their head design back to the two-piece setup found in the B204 and B234. The 2.0-litre turbo variant was introduced for European markets with tax structures tied to engine displacement such as Italy. Unique to the B204 turbo was an exhaust gas pyrometer which was used to detect excessively high exhaust temperatures. When excessively high exhaust temperatures were detected, the fuel injection computer would rich in the mixture. It has a forged crankshaft, cast pistons, and 13 mm connecting rods. Although a powerful engine for its time, the 16 valve engine can experience some problems that can be solved easily. One of the few problems is oil pump gear problems leading to broken timing belts. The oil pump gear itself can fail around the mounting flange, or, more often, the weak 8.8. Grade 5, grade bolt holding the gear can break. It is strongly recommended to use a 10.9 grade bolt when replacing the oil pump gear. Another cause for timing belt failure is improperly adjusting the timing belt on engines with a manual tensioner or improperly adjusting the balance shaft belt. Because this is an interference engine, damage will occur if the timing belt fails. Another common occurrence is that the balance shaft's oil seals are prone to leak on older engines. New replacement sealings tend to start leaking again due to worn irregularities on the shaft itself. 
Many people have removed the balance shaft belt or the balance shaft assemblies altogether to prevent belt failure and or leakage. The balance shafts are only there to lessen high RPM second order vibrations, and removing them will only affect high RPM vibrations. Once all the common problems are solved, the 16 valve engines are just as reliable as their SOHC counterparts. The recommended timing belt interval for these engines is every 50,000 miles or earlier if the engine is modified. It is also recommended to replace the crank and camshaft seals at every interval and to thoroughly inspect the tensioner and idler pulleys for wear. Equals Volvo Penta equals, Volvo Penta sold the OHC red blocks as marine engines as well, just like the older OHV engines. Depending on the model the displacement was 2127, 2316 cc's or 2490 cc's. The engines with 2490cc's displacement, identified as the Volvo Penta AQ151 and AQ171 models, got a forged crankshaft with a longer stroke together with pistons with a 3mm lower compression height. The 2490cc's blocks still had B230 cast in the block. Penta used both the 8-valve and 16-valve cylinder heads. Both the 8V and 16V variants used the same engine block series, the 16V versions didn't use the different block like the automotive B2X4 with balance shafts. Nomenclature, the B21, and related red block motors, were named using the following convention, BX or BVX. Where B stands for benzene, stands for the displacement in deciliters, and X is an appropriate suffix. On the later low friction motors, V denotes SOHC configuration or DOHC configuration. That is B230, B234. The following suffixes were commonly used by Volvo a single constant pressure type carburetor, typically with manual choke, B high compression, with twin carburetors either twin Zenith Strombergs or twin SUs, E high compression, no catalyst, mechanically fuel injected K Jetronic, BXXA. K Jetronic Turbo, B2XXA, Motronic Controlled Electronic Fuel Injection, Turbo. F, Low Compression, USA Europe Version with Catalytic Converter. Europe APAC Version, Fuel Injected, K, Single Jet Type Carburetor, Typically with Automatic Choke, G, LH 2.4 Jetronic but without CAT Converter, CO Adjustment on the AMM. Some models without O2 sensor, others with O2 sensor which requires regular replacement at intervals due to lead fouling. For markets which unleaded fuel was rare in the early 90s, for example Eastern Europe, FB, low compression version of B230F with a 531 cylinder head and BX3 camshaft, power outputs 11 kW and 2 now M more than B230F. LH 2.4 Jetronic fuel injection for European markets. FX, same as the FB but with a distributor mounted on the block for use in the 240. FD, essentially a B230F fitted with exhaust gas recirculation and pulse air system for cleaner emissions. T, turbocharged, after E or F suffix, FK, low pressure turbo, 1995 onward, not supplied in North America. Identical to the B230 FT engine of that time but lower boost level, FT, LH Jetronic 2.2-2.4 Turbo, FTX, higher power output B230 FT. See also, list of Volvo engines. External links, Volvo Cars of NA Online Bookstore, 16 Valve Information.